Headline to headline, KRBC's website, BigCountryHomePage.com, keeps locked into the heartbeat of the big country. And it's always a pleasure. BCH's Carly Cross is in studio. Carly, what stories have been catching our audience's attention most this week? Thank you for having me in again, Noah. Well, it's looking like crime and crashes are taking the cake in this news cycle. Keep watching for this week's Big Country Beat. Starting low with number five, an Abilene woman is accused of hiding fentanyl pills inside an M&M container. Court documents say she was the passenger in a traffic stop and was found to have an outstanding warrant for her arrest, finding the pills upon her search. And number four, an Abilene restaurant was vandalized with what's believed to be animal waste. Circle C Bar and Grill caught the act on security camera, but owners say they won't be pressing charges. It's a crappy thing to do, but there's not much you can do about it. We cleaned it up. It didn't break anything. It's just a very childish thing to do. Some good news for number three, an act of valiance really kept your attention this week. Just kind of at the right place at the right time. It's kind of, um, God knows when we're all going to go. And I don't think it was his time yet. A woman springing into action when seeing a man go into cardiac arrest in line at an Abilene McDonald's. She performed CPR on him until medics could arrive, potentially saving his life. Next up, a woman is accused of smuggling meth, alcohol, and tobacco into an Abilene prison unit. Correctional officers say they found the items in a routine pat-down search of the inmate. And coming in at number one on web is the identification of a Merkle woman killed in a single vehicle crash on I-20 last week. Our condolences are with Mackenzie Utley's loved ones. Well, I hate to leave you on such a somber note, but that is all I have for this week's Big Country Beat. Our top story of the day, that's going to be that Sweetwater drug bus taking in 20 suspects. Until next time, let's send it back out to Noah. All right, thank you, Carly. As you said, sometimes a lot of sad headlines, but that's just the way it goes sometimes. Details to all those stories and more are available right now on the KRBC website. That's bigcountryhomepage.com.